Imagine you're going fishing at a local pond. You get to your fishing spot and you see an angler across the way with a stringer that has too many fish on it. You know this pond has a two fish daily bag limit. What do you do in this situation? When you're enjoying the Idaho outdoors, you can also be a witness for wildlife. Hi, I'm Brian Jack, Conservation Officer with Idaho Fish and Game. When you see something that doesn't look right, report it. But before you call in, there's steps you can take to help conservation officers make a case. First, never engage or confront someone who might be doing something illegal. Your safety is always the most important thing to consider. What you can do is be a good witness. Look around, see details, write those details down, take some notes, and take photos of the scene if you feel comfortable. We find it's important to write the details down because it helps a witness recall specific information that can help conservation officers with their follow-up investigation. You should call the cap line right at that moment or as soon as possible if you see a wildlife crime being committed. The cap number is on the back of your paper license. And be discreet when you report the violation. Don't tell the person you're contacting the authorities. Let them handle the investigation. In this case, the suspect continued to fish and you made a call to CAP right away. Great job. The conservation officer was in the area to investigate. How you doing there, sir? Oh, good. How's fishing? Oh, so good. Hello, I'm Joey Ishida, conservation officer with Idaho Department of Fish and Game. For a conservation officer to follow up on your concerns, we need some information from you to identify the people or persons involved. To do this, we need five key pieces of information from you. First, the suspect. Describe the persons or people involved. In this case, it was a man in his 30s wearing a hat and sunglasses, a purple bandana, and he had a tattoo sleeve on his left arm. These details are helpful because there might be many men fishing at this pond, but perhaps fewer with a purple bandana and tattoo. Second, we need to capture the license plate. The license plate is the first piece of information where we could start our investigation. It ties a specific person to that vehicle. It also provides us information to be able to contact that person. If there are multiple cars in the parking lot, write down all the license plates and let the officer do their investigation. Third, what was taken? In this instance, the guy had a string of over 10 rainbow trout. This would be an obvious over limit violation. Fourth, location. Where were you fishing? Where was he fishing? This was at Wilson Springs Pond in Nampa. Also, GPS coordinates are very helpful. They could be captured using a mapping app on your smartphone. And fifth, date and time. This establishes a time frame of events for our investigation. In this case, the suspect continued to fish. You made the call to Citizens Against Poaching, and an officer happened to be nearby and stopped to investigate. Remember, Idaho's wildlife belongs to you. Be a good witness and hold people accountable for stealing Idaho's fish and wildlife.